Hey guys, it's Justine View. You call me Blondie. Today's video, I'm going to do like an unboxing um, of this box. It's called the Toucan Box, and I actually found out about it because of Facebook. You know how you're scrolling through Facebook and you get the Facebook ads, and some of them draw you in, and this was one that drawed, drew drew me in um so it's called the toucan box and it is actually like an activity box for kids they had like a deal going on where um you could get your october box for five dollars so i did that and thought i would do a little video on it um so yeah it's like it's an activity box that comes with two activities for the month and it is normally twelve dollars a box which i feel like is that's not super pricey, but I also feel like you could do kid activities for a lot, a lot less than that. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if this is a box that I will do every single month, maybe just for like special occasions or like months that have holidays and I wanna do holiday craft activities. But um, this is what the box looks like. It says Toucan Box and then they personalize it with your child's name. Um, I only got it for one of my kids because it is for ages three to eight. I was actually about to check out and buy two boxes, um, one for my daughter, but there was like a little pop-up that said, hey, um, cause you enter your kids like birthdays and stuff. And it was like, hey, um, this box might not be great for that child because it is for ages three to eight. So I was like, okay, I will just buy one box, try it out. And if it ends up being something that maybe my daughter could do, then I'll purchase another box for her in the future. But um, for now, we're just gonna give it a little try. So you open it up and this is the first thing you see. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. There's one activity on each side. And and then right here, it has like a little intro. It says, hello, Sawyer. Welcome to your next toucan box adventure. Hopefully you're ready to get creative. So clear a space on the table and roll up your sleeves. We would love to see your finished products. So why not share a picture with us in your amazing creation at toucan box? Okay, so that's kind of cool. My child cannot use social media and I am sure most three to eight year olds do not use social media. So this is more for a message for the parents than for the kids, but. So it looks like the very first activity is a silly spider and marble web art. Okay, that is why it is not for under three because um, there is a marble in here and my daughter would put that in her mouth. So here's what the activity book looks like. And then you open it up and it has all the instructions step by step. I probably won't show you guys ma us making these, but I will show you like the finished product. This is something that, um, so it is for ages three to eight, but my six year old, did I say five year old? My son is six. My six year old is definitely going to need some help with this. Um, like with the directions and stuff. It is a parent and child activity. Um, but then it comes with this like little baggie that has all of the things that you need. And I will show you a little close up of what is in here, but it comes with um, a bunch of pipe cleaners. It has a little baggie that has a marble, a like plastic um, needle and four eyeballs. There's this little foam piece that looks like it's probably going to be the spider's body. Um, toucan box, what is this? Oh, it's a little glue stick. So they even provide you with a little glue stick, which is really awesome. And then you have a watercolor paint in white. It comes with a little sticker, some tissue paper, four white stickers, and a black piece of paper. So literally everything. You do not need even like the most minor craft supplies because like I said, it even comes with a glue stick and we have so many glue sticks, you know, in our house. And I think most kindergartner age parents usually have glue sticks in their house because we have to use them quite a bit um, for their homework. So that is what is the first activity. And I will just show you, I will just insert a little clip right here of the end process of the activity and tell you a little bit about it. So here is the end result of this project. We have this little spider. Um, he looks like that. The example only said, like, well, the example only showed two eyeballs on the spider, but they gave us four eyeballs. So my son wanted to use all four. 
We have this spider web and then this is a marble art spider web. So it was kind of like two different um, creations. I mean, really three creations if you count this, the spider web as something different, um, all in one packet. They came out really good, I think, but like I said earlier, my son is six and this box is for ages three to eight. And my son needed a lot of guidance for these projects because um, they do require a lot of directions. I can't just hand him the box and he can do it completely by himself. And he is on the older side of the age range that these are intended for. And so it might be kind of harder for younger kids because even with him, um, I had to help out quite a bit. Also to make the marble web, you actually um, cut open and tape the sides of the actual box that everything came in and so I thought that was just a really cool way to also utilize um, the box that it came in um, in order to make the artwork so you know you can reuse it before you recycle it. And then underneath that box there's actually a toucan box, a magazine uh, for curiously creative kids. So this is kind of cool. It's kind of like just a little workbook. Um, like for example, you can make a robot ID card and you draw your robot and name them and um, write what they do. There's like mazes and puzzles and stuff. So this is just a little extra bonus thing that your child can do um, on top of the activities. So that is really cool. There's a little paper um, and you can Oh, you can use my code, everybody. So this is just a refer a friend code, but you can use my code and um, you can get your first box for free. And then I get 50% off my next box. So if you want a free box, make sure you sign up. Oh, another thing that I forgot to mention is I never got like a confirmation email and I never got a shipping confirmation email, but I did get, I think I got one email from them, um, like somewhere between when I signed up and when my box got to my house, more along the lines of like an ad or something. Um, so they're not going to be sending you emails to let you know when, you know, your purchase and stuff goes through. So that's kind of on you. If you want to cancel, um, you need to make sure you log into your account and go cancel which that's like is one thing that I was, I did not like, I wasn't super excited about. Okay, next thing, the next project is this spooky spider. So two different spider projects for this month. This one is a spooky spider. Here is the instruction booklet. Again, just every little step-by-step -step instruction. It has pictures and um, descriptions. And then here is this bag. And again, let's go ahead and see what all of the different pieces are. This one comes with two bottles of liquid glue. It also comes with like this little squared out wooden piece, another sticker, um, some, it looks like black sand, some little sticky squares, um, some black pipe cleaners, a black and white straw, some eyeballs, a piece of paper with a spider web on it and a plain white piece of paper. And then the last thing in here is some yarn. So that is what it comes with. And now again, here's another clip of the finished product um, in the future when we actually do these projects. And here's the end result of this um, project. We have this little spider right here. And we have this um, web made with glue and sand right here. They came out really good, I think, but something that I noticed is that there were a lot of leftovers. This was actually, that little wooden piece was a pom-pom maker, which I didn't know. We had that leftover and then my son broke it um, playing with it, but that was leftover. And then we have some straws, pieces left over, a lot of glue left over, and we have these stickums left over. And then from the other project, we also had glue left over, needle left over, tape, and um, this stuff left over. So you do end up with like some trash at the end of doing all of these projects. But overall, it came out really cool. Also, one other thing is my son keeps wanting to play with these projects, but they're too delicate to play with. So I keep having to remind him that we're only using them for decoration because they are really, really delicate. 
And then there are just two things left in this box. The first one is just a plain sticker sheet. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with the activities. It's just stickers that are just for your kids to use. You can probably even use them in the magazine. Um, and then the last thing is called Spooky Snacking. And it is just some directions on how to make some mummy hot dogs, which are actually really easy to make. And I have made them before. And I actually have a video on my channel of us making these. These are a little different um, than the ones that I made. But um, if you want to see the video, it's actually like Halloween inspired school lunches. Um, I did it last Halloween season and so if you want to see that video I'll link it down below but still this is just a neat little extra that they threw in here um, and it would be a fun activity with to do with kids so that is it for what is in this box these activities are actually a lot more complicated than I was expecting them to be um, again you've seen how they actually ended up turning out but just by looking at the instructions and the supplies the, ins the supplies are a lot more intense than i was expecting i thought they were just going to be like paper craft activities and they're coming with glue and eyeballs and foam pieces and yarn so that is very cool um something that i forgot to mention is that these boxes are kind of inspired by montessori schools um and montessori education so they're made to be like very hands-on for children because they're inspired by that sort of school um, and that is really it for this video. Again, that's really cool. If you want a free box, um, I will leave my code. It's actually justine-dfbs. So uh, go to uh, when you sign up for Toucan Box, you can get your first box for free. And then I get 50% off my next box. So that's a cool little deal. Um, but uh, yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.